Hello, my name is Sana, and in the month of October, I have the privilege to participate in a month-long collaboration with k k Crochet, The Spoonie Stitcher, Critters Crochet, as well as Gwinspired Crochet. The Decade Divas Party is, well, just that, a celebration of fiber and textiles, all inspired by five different decades. I will be making one project each week inspired by that week's decade. Each week we'll have a host creator and this week the host is, well, me. <laughs> yes, we are continuing our Decade Divas party with my chosen decade, the 1940s. So why the 40s, you may ask? Yes, this was a decade defined by war. But no other decade has influenced my love of glamour quite like the 1940s. The hair, the dresses, the hats, the gloves, uh, I just love it all. But there is one thing that I do love more than glamour, and that is being a strong woman who breaks down barriers and proves to all that we can do it. So it is no surprise that for the 1940s, my chosen project is Rosie the Riveter. I chose Rosie because she is a symbol of American feminism and I just absolutely love the message that we can do it. So Rosie the Riveter is actually patterned by my favorite Amigurumi designer, Amor Fu or Carla Matrani. You guys know how much I love the little iconic women dolls. And this one is available for purchase on Carla Matrani's Etsy, as well as other amazing icons that you can't find in her books. I have been wanting to make this pattern since I discovered Carla Matrani's patterns, and I'm so happy that I was able to do it for this collaboration. Rosie here, it did work up very quickly. I love Carla's patterns, they're so amazing. And I did use my my favorite I love this cotton yarn and a three millimeter hook she took maybe about a day I feel like these dolls actually don't take too long to crochet if there's not a ton of detail to them she does have her little headscarf as well which is iconic for that rosy look as well as her suit and I just love her she will be mine forever displayed here in my craft room forever inspiring me that I can do it I can achieve anything and I can break down those boundaries. So that's it for this week's crochet project, but I do have a little surprise for you. So the Decade Divas did agree to do some box swaps. So each diva was assigned a diva to give a box to, somewhat like a secret Santa. And I do have my box that I'm excited to open up now on video with you guys. I haven't opened this before. I actually don't know which diva it's from because their name wasn't on the box, so it's a big time secret. And yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this box. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Sonnet, happy Decade Divas Month. Ashley from Gwinspired Crochet, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Hi Sonnet, happy Decade Divas Month. It's Ashley from Gwinspired Crochet and I have the honor of being your Decade Diva. I'm excited to send you some yarny goodness, though I'm not sure how good it actually is. Listen, it's incredible. All of this so far is amazing. I wanted to make a few items extra special, so some are handmade by me. You are so sweet. I'm so excited. <laughs> Inside the box, you'll find items for each of the five themes, all labeled, plus a few extra goodies. There's even a challenge if you're up for it, but no pressure. You can decide whether or not to take it on. Now for the spoilers. After you open the box, come back here for more details on each item along with specifics about your challenge. Oh my gosh, how fun. I hope you enjoy everything. Okay, so far, Ashley, this is amazing. This is incredible. Your time and dedication to this is so wonderful. And this little washi tape is darling. <laughs> okay, so we have a bag here. Oh my gosh. And then we have this darling Rosie the Riveter <laughs> little headscarf. Oh, this is so sweet. So I have this one that I made personally, but this one is really nice because it actually has like a wire in it. So that's incredible. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this. And what's really sweet now is I can give my handmade one to my kiddo and we'll be matchy matchy. So how cute is this? Ashley, this is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, look at the time and love that went into the swap box. This is amazing. Okay, so here we have yarn. Look at all of the yarn. <laughs> oh, 
Wow. Okay, so we have the dark denim. Cute. Matches the rosy. Oh my gosh. How awesome is that? We also have this Yarnby Prima Suprema. Um, lace is the color. Let's see, what is this? This is 100% Pima cotton. I don't think we have this one at my Hobby Lobby. I don't think I've ever used this yarn. It feels very similar to the I Love This Cotton. More I Love This Cotton. Yes, we have the color gold. Love it. I love like yellows and oranges and things. Very fall. And then we have the I Love This Cotton in olive. Ooh, check out this bag. This is great. Ooh, cute. <laughs> and we have a, a awesome pen. Love it. And the orange, orange is like one of my favorite colors. It's part of my brand. Love it. This is so nice. And look at all these other amazing things. How wonderful. Okay, so we have Spoopy-ish. Okay, I wanna open that one last because who doesn't love Spoopy? Let's go ahead and open up a hook. This seems nice. Ooh, it's a prim hook and a 2.5, which I love this size. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have a hook like this. Oh my goodness, look at this hook. You must have made this yourself. Did you make this yourself? I bet you made this yourself with the little beads. How cute. Oh, and it feels nice in my hands. This is so darling. I love this so much. And I don't think I've ever used a metal prim hook. I only have the plastic ones, so I can't wait to use this. I bet this is going to be my new favorite 2.5 that I like to use. Ooh, oh, look at those. I think these are like the amigurumi sticks that I see people using all the time to assemble their amigurumi. This is so cute i am so excited to use these this is going to be so helpful when making my amigurumi a lot of times i don't pin things in place because nothing will stay on with any of the pins i use so i am so happy to finally be able to have some of these big giant like amigurumi skewers my gosh i love them Ooh, and we have some stitch markers love all of the colors they're the metal ones and they are the circular ones that you just slide in no use of fussing over unclasping and clasping them oh my gosh those are incredible and then we have some tags cute i've been really into making hats and adding embroidery to them and i don't have any of these cute little leather tabs so these are going to be perfect to now add to my hats that i make okay then we will move on to the spoopy one. Oh, cute oh my gosh are these stitch markers oh stop 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 Oh, it's a, um, it's not a, oh, it is a bookmark. Oh my gosh. And they're these super, super cute. Oh wait, they're stitch markers. Stitch, a stitch marker bookmark? What? That is so smart. Holy cow. With the skull cactus and this cute little spider. How cute. Look, he has a little rose on him. These are so darling this is super cute because i can put this in like an amigurumi book as a bookmark but also have stitch markers attached to it that is so smart this is incredible okay so now that we've opened up all of the goodies let's go ahead and read more skein of yarn how about four i included three skeins of i love this cotton yarn and one from my stash of prima suprema sadly discontinued okay that makes sense thank you for the one from your stash thank you oh i've never used that so i'm really excited but yeah sadly discontinued these are, yarns are tied to your challenge you'll notice a pencil pouch along with the yarn okay your challenge if you choose to accept it is to create a cute autumn themed panel to spruce up this otherwise boring pouch Oh my gosh, how cute. It's just a fun little extra, but no obligation. Also with the pouch, you'll find a Sharpie S gel pen. I love these pens and have more than I could ever need. So I need to share one with you. Oh my gosh, how exciting. I can't wait to use it. 
one hook. This is a simple prim 2.5 hook, but I added some flair by decorating it with fun silicone beads to give it a little pizzazz. One notion, I couldn't choose just one, so you are getting a few. I included a pair of my Amigurumi sticks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I'm so excited about these. Along with a set of my favorite spiral stitch markers, these look really nice. Since I love them so much, I had to share the joy. I also added some cute project tags that are perfect for winter hats, scarves, etc. Item representing your decade, this should be one of the first things you spot when you open the package. It's not super original. Listen, it doesn't need to be original. I think it's great. <laughs> And you probably already have a dozen of these, but I had to go with something tied to Rosie the Riveter for the 1940s theme. Of course, it's the classic red and white polka dotted hairband from the iconic poster. Fall vibes, last but not least, is a stitch marker bookmark. I made a, you made them. I thought maybe you made them. These are incredible. You are so skilled at everything you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I made some spooky succulent and spider themed stitch markers, which can be stored on the metal bookmark. You can use it to save your spot in any of your pattern books while keeping your stitch markers handy. This is, I am so happy. I'm like in tears right now. This is so smart. So there they all are. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to make a panel to cover this zipper pouch. I absolutely will. And maybe we'll insert that here. And here we are, here we have the finished bag. Now it is holding that hook currently, and I do plan to use it more for notions and crochet travel. So I did follow a pattern by Mushy here on YouTube, and that is their crochet pumpkin stitch pattern. And I just made two different panels and sewed them together and then added the, the bag inside. So here it is, here's that finished product from the yarn challenge. This was so fun and I love how the bag turned out. Thank you so much, Ashley from Gwinspired Crochet. This was so amazing. I absolutely had a blast opening up your swap box. You are so generous. You are so talented. You are so thoughtful and just an amazing creator. And I am so privileged to be able to do this collaboration along with you. So really from the bottom of my heart, all of this means so much to me. And I can't thank you enough for being so incredibly wonderful. I am absolutely speechless. That swap box made me so happy. I could go on and gush all day long, but I'm going to go ahead and end that here. So we are complete with my week, the 1940s. I hope you enjoyed a little Rosie the Riveter here. Please let me know what do you think of when it comes to the 1940s? What stands out in your mind? If you do want to participate along in this Decade Divas party, be sure to check out the Spoonie Stitchers video so you know exactly how you can do that. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much. You are so wonderful. You are so strong and you can do it. Absolutely, 100% you can do it. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.